Right, okay, what I'm going to show you how to do now is how to mark the actual finger joints so we can cut them out and then it can fit together like that. So, we'll take the piece of the wood here, the short one and the long one. What we've got to do is split it into three. So, if we measure it all the way across, you'll be able to see from there to there is 45 millimetres. So, 45 divided by three is 15. So I put a mark there at 15, then at 30, like that. I then use the tri-square to mark the lines across. So I put it like that and draw the line across. Got the other one as well. There. Like that. I then take it out the vise and lay it down. I can then project the lines from the top. I don't have to remeasure it again. If I can accurately line them up like that, I can mark it down. And I can do the same on that one as well. Now all you need to do is add, as the wood thickness is also 15 millimetres, I measure down 15 millimetres like that. And use my tri-square to mark across. And do that around the side as well. I've already prepared it on the other side. Like that. And also do it on this piece as well. So you can see on here, with the long piece, we need to cut out the center, the center part. So we mark it with diagonal lines as the waste material, like that. And for the shorter one, we need to remove the two outer sides. So we remove that by, again, using the waist diagonal lines. And that just reminds us what we've got to cut off and what we haven't got to cut off. In the next video, I'll show you how to actually cut out those joints.